Hello and welcome to another edition of Conspirator Brock's Pull List. This is my pull list for the week of December 2nd, <laughs> 2015. Uh, decent sized week this week, so let's get right into it. First up on the pull list is Batman and Robin Eternal, number 9. I have not yet gotten a chance to read Batman Eternal, so hopefully it's good. I'm 9 issues into buying it and still haven't read it. Uh, next up we have Cyborg, number 5. Um, Cyborg... Pretty cool. I'm enjoying Cyborg. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's uh, basically kind of mech or viruses. I don't know. Cyborg stuff. Uh, next up, we have East of West number 22. I'm about one issue behind on East of West. It's a slow one, but it's good. It's good, good stuff. So next up, we have the variant horror of the DC universe this month. Um, this is number one for Harley. Little Black Book. Uh, this is a polybagged edition of it. Um, you open the polybag and you can get um, two covers, um, or possibility of two covers, three variations of each cover. So there's six different covers you can get. Uh, so let me get to those covers. Uh, you'll get the color, you can get the color, the black and white, or the sketch version of each of these next covers. So the first one up is the, I think, going to be the most popular one, which is the J. Scott Campbell one. Uh, this is the color version. Uh, we open some at the shop and have all of them available to buy directly. Um, or if you want to risk it and have some fun, you can open up the polybagged one. Um, but this one's awesome. And then we have uh, the one featuring Wonder Woman. It's the other one you can get. Uh, again, you can get the color version, the black and white, or the sketch of e of there's six possibilities that you can get. So, yeah. So, I got just the color versions. Those are the ones I wanted. Uh, if I feel like getting the other ones and we have some, I might pick them up. Uh, next up, we have Paper Girls number three. Uh, Brian K. Vaughn book. Have not yet read it. Uh, need to get to it, but I have been exceedingly busy. Uh, next up is Plutona, the Jeff Lemire book from Image. Uh, I read the first issue. It was okay, so I'm curious to see how... Uh, issue 2 and 3 are. I haven't read 2 yet. It's a trend I'm having lately. I have a short box full of books I need to read. It's ridiculous. Uh, next up we have Prez number 6. Uh, I like Prez. The first four issues I've read. I need to read issue 5 um, and 6, but uh, I've liked it so far. It's a fun book. Uh, very politically um, kind of charged, but that's a good thing. Uh, next up, we have Robin War, one of two. The Robin War begins here, so I think I need to be reading Batman Eternal. I don't know. I'm going to check that one out. Uh, the next up, we have Exo Man of War presents Commander Thrill, or Trill. Uh, this is issue zero, uh, so it's, yeah, issue zero. Cool stuff. Uh, a couple more variants this um, week. Uh, we get a couple more of the Looney Tunes variants that spilt over from last month, which the Cyborg one is a Wily e. Coyote uh, not knowing how to assemble Cyborg. That's uh, pretty funny. Uh, and then we have the Teen Titans one, which is a bunch of the little, little Looney Tunes characters. If you hear Bell in the background or scratching or something, it's the cat. Yes, I have a cat now. Great. Maybe I'll show it off if it comes close. So um, there is one other book that has a Harley Quinn variant, um, and again, you can get this version, the black and white, or the sketch when you open it up. Um, but that's Green Lantern number forty-seven. It comes in a poly bag, like the Harley Quinn one, um, so you can take your chances. But we have some available. Oh, look, the cat's here. You want to see the cat? Come here. Don't resist. Here's our cat. Say hi. <laughs> yeah, might be allergic to cats. Who knows? Um, but this cat is named Banana Anna. Uh, we adopted her a few weeks ago. She likes to attack me in the morning when I get ready for work, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you want down or do you want to say hi? Hi? Okay, you can go. All right. Yeah, that's good. The only thing it's got going for it is it's black. Um... I wanted to touch base on what happened this past weekend. Uh, it was Black Friday. Um, 
A lot of you went out Thursday night, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, whenever, and went shopping. Um, if you were out Saturday and you went down to your local comic book store, there was, it was actually local comic shop day. Um, this is a day kind of like record store day, so there's a bunch of exclusive variants um, that you could get uh, purchase only um, through comic book stores on that day. A lot of shops probably have leftover copies, so if you're curious, you can might go down to your local shop and ask if they have any extras. Uh, that you can snatch up, but I did pick up a few of those. Uh, the first one was for Dark Knight 3, number one. Uh, I thought this was a pretty cool cover for local comic shop day. Uh, and then Book of Death, Fall of Harbinger had one, and it came with this nice little logo on it. The Dark Knight one has it on the back cover, uh, so I picked that one up. And then the Wrath of the Eternal Warrior, number one, had a local comic shop day variant, which I snagged because I get that book. Um, there's also um, a hardcover, there was a bunch of hardcovers, Black Mass Publications went all out and had a bunch of stuff, a um, couple other, I, like Avengers, there was a special cover, um, but yeah, you can ask your local comic book shop um, about that, um, but uh, there was a book that wasn't technically connected to the local comic shop day, but kind of was, and that's a hardcover from Vertigo, um, it's a comic book exclusive only version of would basically cover of this hardcover and that's for the Sandman Overture uh, the deluxe hardcover uh, so this is not technically part of the uh, local comic shop day selection but only you can only get this version in comic book stores and I love Sandman so I bought it because I love Sandman so that's it for the pull list um, DM, the current hardcover volume of DMZ came out today. Uh, I didn't actually pick that up. I was, I'm was i going to wait on that one. Um, but uh, I would recommend getting that. Tons of Marvel trades came out this week. Uh, so check those out. Um, and uh, the Brian K. Vaughn Private Eye hardcover came out today. So uh, go down to your local shop and check it out if you want. Uh, next up we have the read list. These are the titles that I read to stay current, caught up, kind of on a lot of stuff. First up is Action Comics number 47, uh, The Wrath. I tried to read Superman number 46 and it was horrible, like garbage horrible. Like I don't know what the hell they're doing with Superman, but hopefully Action is better because the only good Superman book right now is Superman, Lois, and Clark. Uh, next up we have Avengers number two. Hopefully this book gets better than the issue one. The issue one did not um, grab my attention very well, so if two doesn't, I'm done with Avengers. Um, next up is Batman Beyond number seven. Uh, we get to see what uh, happens in the Batman Beyond world since Omak has been defeated. Uh, next up is a book I'm really excited for. It's Daredevil number one by Charles Soule. Uh, really looking forward to checking this out. Um, a lawyer writing a lawyer title. It's got a thumbs up so far. Uh, next up we have Jason Aaron's Doctor Strange number three. Uh, enjoyed the first issue, second issue was okay, hopefully it picks up a little bit, it's kind of in this weird, eh. Um, next up we have Extraordinary X-Men number two, uh, the first issue was okay, it grabbed my attention not enough to want to read the second issue, but I don't know if it's, I'm going to keep reading it. Uh, next up we have Guardians of Infinity, because Galaxy wasn't enough apparently, so yeah, looks like it's the Guardians, I don't know. I, I'll, I'll read it and I'll see. Uh, next up, we have All New Inhumans by Charles Soule, number one. Uh, Charles Soule's a great writer. love him. Uh, his Inhuman work has been okay, so let's see if he continues with it. Uh, then next up, we have uh, Invincible Iron Man, number four, and apparently Mary Jane is anti-Spider-Man, but pro-Tony Stark, because apparently she's working there. God knows why. Uh, next up, we have Midnighter, number seven. Uh, this book's been pretty cool. Been enjoying it. Art's amazing. Story's cool. Just check it out. Next up is Miss Marvel, number one. It's a Marvel number one, so I'm going to check it out, but I have, didn't read the previews from Miss Marvel, so I'm probably not going to keep reading that. Another number one from Marvel is Red Wolf. I never heard of this character before I picked up this book. We'll see. Uh, next up is a new Vertigo title, The Sheriff of Babylon. Curious to see what that one's all about, but uh, yeah, it looks interesting enough. Uh, then next up we have Star Wars number 13. It's uh, part three of the Vader Down stuff. Uh, the first two issues of Vader Down have been great, so I'm looking forward to seeing how well this crossover is. 
but so far I've been enjoying it. Uh, <clears throat> next up we have the Totally Awesome Hulk, number one, which I'm probably totally not going to want to read after I read this issue. Uh, next up we have The Vision, uh, number six, or number two. The address is 616 for the Marvel Universe, uh, so we'll see if The Vision keeps my interest. The first issue was okay, but uh, I'm curious to see where I go with it. And then finally we have the all-new X-Men number one. They drew a thing on the old X-Men, and these are the new X-Men. So, who knows? Um, and then, uh, oh, I forgot to do that, but I, I uh, did pick up another statue because it's the season and everything seems to dump in my lap at the same time. Um, but DC did release their Cover Girls of Catwoman. So the Catwoman DC Cover Girls statue. So it's pretty, pretty swanky looking right there. Can't wait to pop this one open. Hopefully I get to do a video. I got two statues sitting on the floor over there that I need to get to making an uh, opening videos for. So uh, that's a third one that at least I need to get to. So um, I'm going to wrap it up because my fiance wants to watch yes. Edward Scissorhands. Um, she's been dying to watch it all evening and I've been delaying that because I'm recording this video. So uh, yeah. Um, thanks again for watching. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, to the channel. Uh, leave comments down in the comment section. Uh, let me know what you're picking up. Say hey, whatever. All that fun stuff. You can follow me on Twitter. My handle is at Brock Sager. Um, you can listen to me on the Comics Conspiracy Podcast. I was not on this week or the previous week. I've been a little bit busy, um, but you can uh, go over to www.geekbox.net and check that out. Uh, yeah, so uh, apparently Bryce hates on Marvel for a very long time on this last podcast. So, uh, I might actually listen to it because that sounds pretty interesting. Uh, other than that, you can help uh, the, me and my fellow conspirators out at um, uh, on the podcast by donating to, through Patreon, uh, Patreon slash Comics Conspiracy. Uh, you can for a little a dollar a month, you can help us with the hosting, getting food, and other stuff, which we greatly appreciate. To all our pa Patreon backers, thank you. Um, and I think that's it for this week. So uh, yeah, all right. See you next week.